Hello again, family. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video. Welcome back. Um, I really wanted to do this video for a while now since I started my channel. I really wanted to talk about the reason why I started my love journey. But I kept pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back because it's really sensitive to me. So I didn't really want to touch on it. It's more like a testimony than anything as to why I started my log journey. Basically, it's a health reason. On July, July 5th of 2022, I suffered from a brain hemorrhage, which is a brain aneurysm, a brain bleed. Um, July 5th of 2022, I woke up and I had this massive headache and I had a massive headache and then basically I couldn't sit up, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't even lay down. The headache was so intense to the point where I basically just kind of like passed out I fell down on the floor and I told my husband call 911 because before I pass out and at which point he did when he did I know I could hear people talking but I couldn't speak and then of course the, they call EMT they came up the paramedics and they were talking to me, but I couldn't actually speak. But I could, I know I was saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But they keep talking to me, but I know I could hear myself saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Because that's the only thing I could say out of my mouth. I can't say anything else. They're speaking to me. All I can say is, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now... From what I know from my husband, he's telling me this. Now, I don't remember anything. He's telling me that they took me to one hospital. From that hospital, they diagnosis, diagnosis was that after x-rays and stuff, that I had a brain bleed. I had a rupture aneurysm. And from there, they had to transport me to another hospital because they didn't have the specialists or the proper um i'm sorry the proper uh doctor or specialist of me there at which point they actually transferred me somewhere else and from there Thank God there was a specialist. I believe he used to be somewhere else, another state. He used to specialize there. And now he's down here where I live. And by the grace of God, and to perform the surgery the next morning for me. I was still in a lot of pain. So they had to try to give me something to help me. With the pain and early the next morning they had to go ahead and perform the surgery to stop the bleeding and they did that i currently have something in my brain call it coral it's like stop where the bleeding was from um from continuing to bleed and that's how it stopped but I was still having the headaches so I had to stay in the hospital for 21 days um, I had to relearn how to walk I had to do therapy Cognition have issue with my hand. I still have hand shake. 
Um, I still have issues with uh, speaking. Sometimes I cannot remember certain things. Um, the way I speak and the things that I'm saying sometimes come slower. It's a lot to do just small things. Still need help with certain things. Um, I still have to use a walker, but it's because I get tired easier. I get tired quicker. Eyes is not the same anymore. I have to wear glasses. Um, um, because of the headaches, I have to see a lot of specialists. Because the chemicals, I try to stay away from a lot of chemicals. I not to put too much pressure on my head. Locks was the best way I could think of for myself. It's not only it's natural, but more... It gives my hair a balanced, natural way for me to get healthy. Because I, I, I just don't, don't see me putting any more chemical on my body. Because I'm taking a lot of medicines. So for now, because right now with me going through this, uh, you cannot drink, you cannot do a lot of stuff. So there's a lot you cannot do. And I don't see me putting chemicals in my body. I realize the importance of self-care because I'm doing therapy now. Started the log journey as a way of just embracing my natural beauty, you know, because life is fragile. It can be taken away in an instant. And I made that promise to myself to never hold back and caring for myself and loving myself and saying things that I need to say to others and say at the moment, going places that I have to go at the moment. These locks, you know, they a representation of how far I come, how far, how much I've overcome. Every twist, every turn of my locks is a testament to my journey, to my strength, to what I've overcome, what God has yet to bless me with. And I know he has so much to bless myself, my family. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. I wouldn't be here if he didn't have a plan for me. I may have survived the trauma. I may be thriving now. But God says he's not going to let anything, anything at all dim my light maybe it's, it's just not done with me yet maybe I'm gonna try my best to do better to work at it to transform myself to help others to be a testimony anyway that's my story and that's why I decided to start locks. <laughs> if you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more inspiring content. Thanks for watching. Bye.